Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me thoroughly and have known me. You know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. You sift and search out my path and my lying down, and you are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue still unuttered, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You have beset me and shut me in, behind and before, and you have laid your hand upon me. Your infinite knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high above me, I cannot reach it. Where could I go from your spirit? Or where could I flee from your presence? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, the place of the dead, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning or dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, Even there shall your hand lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the night shall be the only light about me, even the darkness hides nothing from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike, to you. For you did form my inward parts. You did knit me together in my mother's womb. I will confess and praise you, for you are fearful and wonderful, and for the awful wonder of my birth. Wonderful are your works and that my inner self knows right well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately and curiously wrought as if embroidered with various colors in the depths of the earth, a region of darkness and mystery. Your eye saw my unformed substance, and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape, when as yet there was none of them. How precious and weighty also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I could count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awoke, could I count to the end, I would still be with you. If you would only slay the wicked, O God, and the men of blood depart from me, who speak against you wickedly, your enemies who take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, who hate you? And am I not grieved, and do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. They have become my enemies. Search me thoroughly, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there is any wicked or hurtful way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting.
Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. You perceive every movement of my heart and soul, and you understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You are so intimately aware of me, Lord. You read my heart like an open book, and you know all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. You know every step I will take before my journey even begins. You've gone into my future to prepare the way, and in kindness you follow behind me to spare me from the harm of my past. With your hand of love upon my life, you impart a blessing to me. This is just too wonderful, deep, and incomprehensible. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. Where could I go from your spirit? Where could I run and hide from your face? If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the realm of the dead, you're there too. If I fly with wings into the shining dawn, you're there. If I fly into the radiant sunset, you're there waiting. Wherever I go, your hand will guide me. Your strength will empower me. It's impossible to disappear from you or to ask the darkness to hide me, for your presence is everywhere, bringing light into my night. There is no such thing as darkness with you. The night to you is as bright as the day. There's no difference between the two. You formed my innermost being, shaping my delicate inside and my intricate outside and wove them all together in my mother's womb. I thank you, God, for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. It simply amazes me to think about it. How thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place, carefully, skillfully shaping me from nothing to something. You saw who you created me to be before I became me, before I'd ever seen the light of day. The number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Every single moment you are thinking of me. How precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your every thought. Oh God, your desires toward me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. When I awake each morning, you're still with me. Oh God, come and slay these bloodthirsty, murderous men, for I cry out, Depart from me, you wicked ones. See how they blaspheme your sacred name and lift up themselves against you, but all in vain. Lord, can't you see how I despise those who despise you? For I grieve when I see them rise up against you. I have nothing but complete hatred and disgust for them. Your enemies shall be my enemies. God, I invite your searching gaze into my heart. Examine me through and through. Find out everything that may be hidden within me. Put me to the test 
and sift through all my anxious cares. See if there is any path of pain I'm walking on and lead me back to your glorious everlasting ways, the path that brings me back to you. Psalm 121, A Song of Ascents I look up to the mountains and hills, longing for God's help. But then I realize that our true help and protection come only from the Lord, our Creator who made the heavens and the earth. He will guard and guide me, never letting me stumble or fall. God is my keeper. He will never forget nor ignore me. He will never slumber nor sleep. He is the guardian God for his people, Israel. Jehovah himself will watch over you. He's always at your side to shelter you safely in his presence. He's protecting you from all danger both day and night. He will keep you from every form of evil or calamity as he continually watches over you. You will be guarded by God himself. You will be safe when you leave your home and safely you will return. He will protect you now and he'll protect you forevermore. Psalm 122